members of Beaconsfield, you've joined me on the 18th. We're in December. It's nice to finish the year on the last hole. It's been a fabulous year. You know, those of you have come up to me saying that you enjoy my videos. I'm very grateful I enjoy doing them and I look forward to doing more over the next year for you. Now, right of 18th green. This is a familiar spot for so many people and I know it is a familiar spot for myself, to be honest. Uh, well, that's from the drive, of course. Now, I'm short-sided. Callum has just cut this hole on the red flag on the front. It is so difficult now. Before, it was in the middle. I had a bit more green to work with, all right? A bit more breathing room. Now, I've got to be careful this doesn't blow over. Hopefully, you can hear me. It's a very, very windy day, okay, which isn't going to help me in this instance. Now, I'm short-sided. I've got no green to work with. Dead, as some would say. I've got a 55 degree wedge and a great way to play this shot is not to just spin it open, aim left, slice across it, okay? There are small little elements that you can use to help you just pop that ball up, get it coming down nice and vertical, nice and soft when it lands so it's not going to bound over the back of the green. Now, I have a bit of an obstacle and the first thing that most of you, including myself, We'll probably think about is don't dump the thing in the bunker okay it's a negative mindset the ball's in the bunker and i've not even set up to it yet okay this shot requires commitment okay it requires a bit of speed now the people that are getting on the 10 to 11 train to marlebone are probably in some danger if this doesn't go correctly now what i'm going to do i'm going to set up with the ball ever so slightly forward in my stance, my weight then moves forward. So my whole body starts to shift onto this left side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand just that little bit closer to it. So the shaft angle pitches up a little bit. What this does, this places the toe end of the club more into the ground. Now the toe has got more relief than the heel. And by relief, I mean bounce. If the heel is very low, there's a risk of digging that heel into the ground and I might not even make the bunker, okay? It will be a couple of feet in front of me and it'll probably trickle back into the six foot divot I've just made, okay? So I've got ball forward. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin that face open a little bit. And being as I'm pitching up that shaft a little bit, I'm putting the toe in the ground. Now I will grip down this a little bit. Now my thought process here is to feel like I am cutting across it and allowing that club to actually release a little bit. What this does is it keeps the loft maintained on the golf club at all times. Very easy for someone as they release it to release it with too much left forearm rotation which actually closes down the face and the car park is in grave danger. Okay so I've got the toe in the ground spinning it open a little bit the ball is forward my weight is forward and I'm going to feel like I'm releasing that club head Pass my hands through the point of impact, keeping that loft on the golf club. Now, let's see what we've got. The train has just arrived. I can see people getting off, so this could be dangerous. Nice, lazy-esque swing. I'm going to feel like the club's doing a little bit of the work, allowing it to drop. That's what will ultimately help me with the release. Let's have a look. Popped up and over, just landed on the edge of the fringe. I've probably got about eight foot from a par putt. Now, this is a great way to do it, okay? Look, it's a high risk shot, but to be honest, there is no other way to play this shot. You have to go for it. You have to be confident. And as I said, I feel like the weight of the club does a little bit of the work on the way down and ultimately feel like you're really going to turn through and pivot through well. This will maintain the speed and it will stop us from just dumping that club into the ground. Okay, look, it's been a great year. I've loved teaching all of you and I will continue to love it next year. I'd love to teach more of you. I'd love to help you out for the spring and the season next year. Merry Christmas all and a happy new year. I hope it's a great one. Happy golfing and I'll see you soon.